You may not know this, but glaives are very much viable for endgame Grandmaster content, even though there are many that disagree with this. As you know, as I was one of them. But after seeing a few clips of players using them and effectively shutting down vast amount of combatants with little effort, I want to see just how truly good they really are. And let me tell you, everyone should be giving glaives a try and have at least one to two types of glaives available on them at all times. So what makes them so interesting you may ask? For starters, glaives allow users to block incoming damage imperfectly with no matter how many things are being chucked at you. Take a look at what's being shown. This is me running a GM Nightfall and just to test out the weapon, I chose to engage all combatants at once just to see how good my shields would last and as shown, the flinch is crazy but the damage reduction is large and fairly safe for me to keep firing back or back off and revive my teammates which you know you can use in many different scenarios. You too can do what is shown by having the auxiliary perk on your weapon so your shields can last longer. But this alone allows the glaives to really shine in Grandmaster where taking damage from any source can be a 2-3 hit combo without the glaive there. With the glaive now, we can go ahead and counteract this and gain a 97.5% damage reduction with ease. You also have to take into account that the weapon can also fire while you're shielding and this isn't something that many weapons are able to do whatsoever. If you have a titan with sightons, then yeah, of course you can pull it off. But the risk here is that you get weaker shields as a sacrifice. With glaives now, you don't need to sacrifice anything and in fact, it's encouraged that you do this as you can get a perk named Unstoppable Force which will increase your outgoing damage by 30% just by blocking. This here will allow you to play safe and effective until you need to reload. But the ultimate reason why you should be using glaives in GMs is in fact because of the perk pool they offer. Nezrax Whisper for example is an easy to grind weapon that anyone can get and just looking at what it offers shows that you can easily keep yourself fulfilled with whatever combo you have in mind. Want to focus on getting more shielding and being aggressive? Then Genesis and Adaptive Munitions is the key to aim for. Want to be dealing out heavy damage as you go? Demolitionist and Unstoppable is the one. Want pure grenade fun? A Demolitionist and Adrenaline Junkie is the key. All of this is gotten from one glaive alone, but you can achieve near the same effects with Lubre's Ruin and Enigma, but you've got to either farm them or craft them if you can. People, we are sleeping on a very quiet meta that as time goes on, is going to become more and more common in game. If you've been thinking about trying them now, then now is the perfect time to do so as they really do benefit users. You never know what you're missing out and this here is an absolute game changer. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with more Destiny content. Once again, thanks for stopping by, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next one.